the duck art. Photography is often defined as painting with light, although perhaps more accurately in the digital age it should be described as recording with light. But such a, a definition omits an important element, the absence of light. Shadows play an immense part in photography and it is the contrast of light and shade that creates the image, not simply the light. I've been fascinated with high contrast deeply shadowed and brightly highlighted images since chancing upon some of Bill Brandt's 1937 photographs of Halifax, including the Snicket, which has to be one of the most widely copied compositions whose location doesn't come complete with built-in tripod holes. Further research led me to the photographic collection at the National Media Museum in Bradford. We won't speak of changes since and the chance to see and handle original darkroom prints, complete with Brandt's notes on printing, dodging and burning, etc. So began for me a journey into the dark side of photography, where highlights are to be protected and shadows crunched or embraced, as I've heard it said. The images here have no theme, other than they all stem from a fascination with this interplay of light and shadow. Chiaroscuro, in art, is the use of strong contrast between light and dark, usually bold contrast affecting a whole composition. And this is how I see much of Brandt's work, especially his later prints, which took on far greater tonal contrast than his earlier work. Having been a fan of black and white photography since the 1970s, it's not surprising that a large part of my photographic output is still black and white. In the last year or so though, I've really started to embrace the concept of protecting the highlights, which at times can create some very dark patches on my Flickr photo stream. Now I know that these won't be to everyone's taste, but I hope that if nothing else it's been an interesting glimpse into my dark side. I shall leave you with my homage to Brandt's 1937 image, The Snicket. Thank you for watching.